former President Clinton and James Patterson in their new thriller, The President's Daughter. Their first book was the number one hardcover fiction bestseller of 2018. And I asked them if the pressure was on to do even better this time. Do you feel any pressure to top that now, yes. this new book? Really? Sure. And we did. We topped it. <laughs> the president's daughter tells the story of former president Matthew Keating, whose daughter Mel has been abducted. You know, if, if something terrible like this happened, and, and it, it would be in, in the newspapers and on your show for weeks, that's what reading this book is like. And what separates what we do from thrillers I normally write Great story, but also authenticity. You're a former president. You have a daughter. Does this book kind of hit a little too close to home? I discussed it with her in advance and said, you know, here's what we want to do, and it doesn't have anything to do with you. But she was my daughter on 9-11 in Lower Manhattan mm -hmm. when Osama bin Laden still had a fatwa out on me because I had gotten close to killing him. Mm -hmm. This is all, this is fiction. The president in the book is not President Clinton. But it's not the me. The daughter is the hero of, uh -huh. of the book, and but she's not so. Chelsea, she's not Ivanka, she's not the Bush daughters. Mel, who's the president's daughter in the book, she recalled the conversation with the Secret Service about what to do in case you are abducted. Is that a real conversation that a child of the president would have? Yeah, you'd have, for example, there are also there's a hiding place or two in the White House. Mm -hmm. And if you have young kids, you have to tell them where it is and where they're supposed to go. One of the reasons for the kidnapping is retaliation for a drone strike. But you two do it in a very interesting way. You tell it from the president's point of view, military's point of view, the victim's point of view. So why was it important for you to tell it from everyone's view? Especially now, today, when everybody's so polarized and we're all mm -hmm. fighting and we're not people to each other anymore. It's important to understand that just because somebody is your adversary, maybe even your downright enemy, it doesn't mean that all the feelings they have are irrational. Yeah. It doesn't mean that something bad didn't happen to them. This is a big deal to us. I guess we grew up in a different time, but I think we're in danger of losing our democracy today, partly because we stopped being people to each other. One of the things that, that President yeah. Clinton will push me on is we got to make all these characters real. Do you miss being president? The real answer is I loved being president. On the worst days, I loved it. On the worst days, there was always something you could do mm. that would make life better for somebody. So I love the job. And it's a good thing we had a two-term limit or I would have forced the American people to defeat me or take me out in a pine box, probably. <laughs> so. On occasion, since I've been gone, I would think about, well, what would I do or what would I do differently? But by and large, I think that the secret to happiness when you leave the White House is to always be at the next president's beck and call, but only if they want you. The president and Patterson wrote their latest thriller over the course of the pandemic, also using their time in quarantine for some self-reflection. I actually wrote my autobiography, which I don't think I would have written. I did change some things. When you reach a certain age and you hope you have as many tomorrows as you'd like, but you know you got more yesterdays, then I think it's important that you analyze how do you actually want to spend the rest of your life? And it gave me a chance to do that. And it forced me to come to grips with the fact that I needed to get rid of every bit of anger I could, every bit of resentment that I could. And I should take great care with whatever time I have left and try to make the most of it. I know that Secretary Clinton is, is pinning her own thriller. Yeah. So have you... We hope to kick kick her butt. I was going to say, <laughs> have you given nice her way. advice? In a she nice way. You advice? In a nice way. So there's a nice little friendly competition here. Yeah, but we're going to have a hard time beating it. It's good. We will, we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't hold back. <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. Had a great conversation. Mm -hmm. And I love the part about he misses being president, even on the worst days. Mm -hmm. But he and, and Mr. Patterson, they put together a book, The President's Daughter. That's right. It is out today. He missed being president, but don't miss this book. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.